Andy Fairclough and this is my studio in the Adelaide Hills. I work from two sheds, one's for all the dirty work and one's for the clean work and in between the two sheds is where I do my mould making. For Heartlands I chose three different pieces of work to go in that all speak about a sense of place in a different way. Two of them speak particularly about the basic human needs for order, safety, food, shelter, all of those things interest me that regardless of religion or culture or wherever you live, we all have the same basic needs for those things. You still sweep, you create order, you clean, you neatly fold cloth and place it somewhere, that it's sort of a basic human thing. It's very important to me to speak about what we have in common with other cultures rather than what, what's different. Uh, there's several steps that um, the artist goes through to get the final cast lead crystal object. And in my case, I'm casting from real life objects, so I get the same size and dimensions and to get it as lifelike as possible. So I get the real life object and I make it hard, solid and waterproof. And I use various things I buy from the hardware store for that, like plaster or um, diluted PVA glue. Then I embed it, half embed it in clay, and I paint over the top silicon, a film of silicon rubber, which is what looks like that. Paint that over the top, and then leave that for a day, and when that's set, I then build a dam and pour plaster over the top, which is that, so that will keep the silicon rubber in shape. When the plaster dries, I take everything apart, flip it over and do the other side. So I have a two-part silicon rubber mould. I close the mould up, comme ça, and I pour molten wax in through the hole that I've left and leave that to set. And then when that's set, I take the wax out. And probably, I remember for these, I would have spent about 20 hours going over the surface of the wax making it perfect. And then when the wax is perfect, it gets embedded in another mold, which is called a refractory mold of silicon. It's made of silica and plaster, not to be confused with that silicone. And that's the mold that will go into a kiln and will handle um, going up to 840 degrees Celsius. So the wax would now be, imagine that's wax, that's now embedded in a mold made of plaster and silica. Then that wax has to get steamed out, so there's just a cavity left in this shape. Then that mould is dried, inverted in a kiln, and sitting on top of it, inverted in the kiln, is a flower pot, terracotta flower pot, packed full of glass. And then in the kiln, in the firing process, the temperature is brought up slowly until the glass becomes liquid, and then it pours through the hole in the pot into the mould and fills up the mould and then it has about a seven day cooling down cycle, controlled cycle. And then when, they fin when you get it out the kiln and it's cold, you then spend hours going over the surface getting that exactly perfect as well, removing any blemishes or treating it the way you want to treat it. I think I sandblasted these actually, because I wanted that sort of milky dreamlike quality on it.